Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me Samsung Galaxy A23 5G mobile phone and this phone has got a new software update which is One UI 5. So in this video I will show you top 13 features of One UI 5 upgrade. The first feature is about call background. So you can set individual call background for each contact. So what you have to do, you have to go into the phone. Okay, so once you enter into the phone, you see these three dots over here, just select it. Once you select it, you will see an option of settings. Okay, so just enter into the settings. And here you see this third option over here, it says call background. So just select it. Once you select here, you have call background option and here you see this background icon. Okay, so I will select again call background. I select this background option. So here you see there are different backgrounds available. So video backgrounds are also available. So for example, I select this video background. Okay, so you can see you can have this video background for a call and then you can use video sound as ringtone as well. So you can enable this as well if you want. And then if you want to set it, you can select this set as call background and now this call background is applied. The next feature is about lock screen customization. So I will lock uh, my phone screen. Okay. And now I double tap. So here you can customize your lock screen. You just have to press and hold it like this. Okay, and then here you will see all the options available. So the first thing is about clock. So you can set different type of clocks. So if I select this clock, you can see we have different clock options available. Okay, so you can select any of the clock. Okay, then you can also change uh, the clock font. Okay, so you can see there are different font options available. The next thing is you can also change the color. Okay, so different colors you can select okay and then the next feature is related to wallpaper so guys here you can see this wallpapers option just select it so now you have different graphical wallpapers option available so you can see there are different graphical wallpapers okay for example like this one okay so if you don't want you have more options so you can select any of the colors okay so there are different colors option really cool color options available for wallpaper the next feature is about these notification okay so you can see over here if i select it so you have different notification options available you can select icon only or you can select details like this or you can select icon okay now you can also change the transparency if you go into the details okay so you can see you can change the transparency like this okay and then uh, the next feature is related to shortcuts so here you can change the shortcuts for uh, for different apps for example i select it i select plus okay so you can select any of the left shortcut from here and for the right shortcut you have to select over here and then you can select the right shortcut for different apps as well the next feature is about photo cutout so now you can cut out any image I will show you so for example I go into my gallery okay and here I will uh, select this image okay and I want to cut it out okay so I will select this edit option from here you can see this edit okay so once you select this edit option now you have a new option over here like this in the circle so you just select it okay so here you can see you have different option you can snap to shape select manually or deselect free form shape so there are different options now if i want to cut out for example only this part i can just uh, do it like this okay and i just select it and here you will see it will cut out for me okay so you can see it cut out for me i go to the next okay so it will look like this so you can change the background you can also customize it for example there are some parts you can also cut them as well the next feature is related to watermark in your images so how you can do it you just open the camera okay and here you see this option of settings okay so here i select the settings icon okay so once you select the settings you can see this watermark uh, i already enabled it if it is disabled you can enable if you want the watermark and if you just select it you have more options over here so you can put any model name okay so you can put anything over here for example I put Sam tube 
okay so you can do it like this and then if you want you can also uh, change the date and time okay so here is the date and time option if you want to insert the date and time you can see then you can also change the font so there are different font options available okay so you can see there are different font options then you can also change the alignment you can put in the middle on the left on the right so there are different watermark options available the next feature is related to uh, color palettes so now you have more color palettes option available for example i press and hold uh, my home screen and here uh, you see this wallpaper and style okay so you can select this color palette okay so you can enable it from here and you have different color palette option available with basic colors as well so for example i want to select this one or this so whatever color you want you can select for example i select this color yeah and then i apply okay so now this color will apply to everything in my phone even uh, for example i want to uh, select this uh, volume uh, key you can see it also changes it color before it was not like that it is always white so it also changes it color according to the color palette the next feature is related to uh, stack widgets so in widgets now you can do the stacks as well i will show you how so press and hold the home screen you select this widgets option so here you can select any of the widgets for example uh, i select this device care okay so for example i want this uh, widget okay so i just press and hold it and then i bring it to my home screen okay now i want stack of widgets okay so what i will do i just press and hold this one okay so now here you see this option of create stack okay so create stack option just select it now from here you can select any other widget for example i select this digital uh, well-being okay i just select it and then i press add so it will be added into my main widgets so i just scroll down for the next widgets from here so you can add more widgets uh, in this stack widgets option the next feature is related to multiple timers so now you can have multiple timer just go into your clock okay and then here you see this timer option so here you can select any timer okay you can customize it for example i select this timer and then i start okay now this is the one timer okay so this is the first timer but i want to add more timers so i just select this plus icon over here okay and i select another timer and then i select start so now you can have two timers okay and they are both of them are working you can add more timers okay so for example i select one more so you can see you can have three timers okay and the second thing is when you go back to your home screen a small timer appear over here you can put it anywhere on your screen okay like this so it will play it over here as well and then if you want you can close it okay so you can put it like this it will look like the dynamic island in iphone the next feature is about a new option in the settings so i will go into the settings and here if you scroll down you see this new option of modes and routines so you can select it and here you have different options available you can have sleep mode driving exercise and you can customize them as well for example i select this sleep mode and i turn it on so everything uh, become uh, black become dark and and i can also customize it according to my needs the next feature is related to multitasking so you can go into the settings once you enter into the settings you see this option of advanced features okay just select it once you select it here you have the first option of labs just select it and once you select this lab you can see this last two option swipe for pop up view you can enable it and you can also enable this option which says swipe for split screen so you can enable both of these option now for example i open any of the app for example i open this internet browser with the two fingers if i swipe it up like this it will go into the split screen mode and then i can open any other app okay for example i can open the calculator okay so i can use uh, these two fingers to swipe it up and then uh, the next thing is you can also use the corner of the app to make it like a pop-up view okay so for example like this one and then you can change its position 
you can make it more smaller if you want to open uh, any other app at the background you can also open so you can have picture in picture view as well the last feature is about app notifications so you can select different app notification for each app go to the settings once you enter into the settings you see this option of notifications so here is the notifications okay just select it once you select it you will see the first option is app notifications just select it once you select it you can uh, select any of the app for a specific notification okay so for example i select this chrome once you enter into the chrome you can see there are three different type of notification options available okay and then you can also use this option of hide content on lock screen okay so you can also enable it so guys this is for today's video i hope you like the video i hope you enjoy the video so please subscribe to my channel thank you very much